It's everyone's favorite time of year, Shark Week. And who knows sharks better than the Cousteau family? With me is Philippe Cousteau, grandson to the legendary underwater explorer and filmmaker Jacques Cousteau, and his lovely wife, Ashlyn. And we're going to be playing an exciting game called Athlete vs. Shark, where we do exactly what the game says. We pit an athlete against a shark in a completely hypothetical scenario and see who would come out on top. My bet is the shark every time. <laughs> but before we get into the game, you need to learn how awesome these two are. And they recently visited a nuclear testing site from the Cold War for their new show, Nuclear Sharks, airing June 30th on Discovery. Tell me what was that experience like and tell me about the show. I've had the good fortune to travel all over the world and this was one of the most exciting expeditions we've ever been on. As you mm -hmm. said, you know, they conducted, the United States conducted over 60 nuclear tests in these areas back in the 40s and 50s. And to go there and dive in literally nuclear craters in the water uh, and then be surrounded by 100 sharks at a time was, was uh, definitely a bucket list experience. That's awesome. And you weren't really into sharks before you two met. Tell us how this whole thing came about and how now you're like, yes, let's do TV shows for shark <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Woo Send me in the water. <laughs> uh, I first met Philippe. Uh, he was giving a speech about the big oil disaster that happened in the Gulf. And we met that evening, fell in love, and he asked what I wanted for my 30th birthday. And I said, you know, I've always wanted to go great white diving in a cage. And it was definitely the last thing I expected to hear from her. I was like, I want to go dive in the great white shark. <laughs> I was like, okay, so uh, this is my, yeah, this is my, yeah. Yeah. I think that sealed this. the deal. <laughs> and now we're going to talk about sharks and athletes in this awesome hypothetical game, athletes versus sharks. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> First up, the great reef shark up against Starling Marte, outfielder for the Pittsburgh Pirates, who's only 185. He currently, at this time, has 20 stolen bases. Gray reef sharks, I, you know, here's the thing, is they tend to hunt in packs mm -hmm. gray reef sharks. So one on one, they may not be quite so uh, so successful. Oh. So, you know, and if he's stealing bases and he's so fast. And he's a pirate. And he's a pirate. He's a pirate. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to him. Right? Me too, yeah. I agree, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Starling Marte, you will defeat great reef sharks. Starling. Over Gray Reefs. Jose Bautista against the Tiger Shark, which has a reputation for being a garbage eater. So I thought, you know, garbage, trash, trash talkers. So Bautista or a Tiger Shark? They are the most badass shark in the ocean. Forget Gray Reefs. Really? So I'm going Tiger Shark on this one, just looking down their jaws. They have serrated teeth. They're mm. the only sharks that can eat sea turtles. So when they bite the sea turtle, they just shake their head back and their teeth literally like cut through the shell. So I am going tiger shark. You know, sometimes if you're a trash talker, it's because you're, you know, you're kind of covering up some other maybe deficiencies. Oh! So I don't know if he's actually maybe so tough. He's not playing so well this year. This hasn't been one of his best seasons. Yeah, okay, so, I'm going with yeah. Philippe. Tiger shark. I just got talked out. Sorry, but he's, uh, Sorry. you lose to the tiger shark. <laughs> Noah Syndergaard, aka Thor, up against the great hammerhead shark because Thor has the hammer and I mean I, like I know it. Syndergaard doesn't have a hammer but well he does in our head I'm I'm actually gonna go with Thor because hammerheads we were just swimming with them they are beautiful and they're very docile and they are just I mean they're freaky looking they are the <laughs> weirdest looking shark in the world they look like aliens but they really are just very calm they are very gracious and they're beautiful so in a fight I gotta go with Thor. You can oftentimes tell what sharks eat by where their mouth is placed. So great white shark, they're going after like sea lions and elephant seals and things like that. Hammerheads, their mouth is a little bit further back and underneath. They tend to eat stuff on the bottom. So they're not that, that, that they look funky, but they're not tough. Syndergaard's pretty tough. Yeah. He's the only pitcher on the Mets who threw at Chase Utley when they played. And he has beautiful hair. He does have beautiful hair. <laughs> well, that's not as much of a deciding factor for me. <laughs> But I'm going, I'm still going to Syndergaard. No, it's Syndergaard for both of you yep. Yep. against yep. the Hammerhead. Mm -hmm. Thor defeats the real Hammer. Yep. God of Thunder. Make sure you check out Nuclear Sharks yes. airing Thursday, June 30th yes. at 9 p.m. on Discovery during Shark Week. Dun dun dun.